I hope from the last two lectures, you are now very familiar with the interface of After Effects. Let's do some real work here. I want to show you how to import footage and how to create a composition from the imported footage. Let's create a new project and start afresh. You will come to File, go to New, and you have New Project. The shortcut here for Windows, Control, Alt, N. I guess on the Mac, it will be Command, Option, N. Let's click on it. And here we are, we have a new project that doesn't have a name yet. There are several ways to import a footage. In fact, there are always very many ways to do a lot in After Effects. But I want to show you the best practices that will work with you even if you're using the version 12 of After Effects as far as this. To import footage, you can simply come to the project panel and right click and you have here import and you have file or multiple files. Let's go for file and you notice we have the shortcut Ctrl I or Command I on the Mac. I will select this option and of course you need to navigate to where you have saved the footage that I hope you downloaded for the course or get a footage that you like that even will be nicer. Now I will select these four videos here. Click on the first one, press shift, click on the last one and I have the four of them selected. This is what I want to import. Now, if you are in 2018, please ignore all these options and make sure they are all unchecked for now. I will click import. Here you are, your footage has been imported into After Effects. But actually, these videos are not inside your project. There is only a link from your project to where the footage was stored on your mass storage. So it's always important to know where you put your footage and have a standard folder for them. Cool. If you want more footage from anywhere, if you like, you can press Ctrl I or Command I on the Mac and go navigate to where you put the footage. And now I want to select, for example, the photos only. I would select the first one, press Ctrl or Command on the Mac, the other one and so on and say import. So I imported now the images. So now let's create a composition using these videos and even the images. If you are in 2018, you have these two big buttons here. I would like you just to just ignore them for now because later on you will notice you won't be able to use them all the time. Let's say you want to create a composition to work on arielviewcity.mp4, only this single video. First of all, notice the settings for this video. The dimensions are 1280 by 720. This is the size of the video. You can call it 720p. And the frame rate is 30 frames per second. This is quite important when you're working in After Effects. Mainly the frames per second. You don't want to, you know, mix things around. You want to keep the same frame per second for all your videos and your composition. And then you have the codec is H264. And then you have about the sound. So if you want to create a composition from this video here, just click on it, drag it. You can drop it over here if you have no composition open or on the timeline if you have no composition open. The best practice is to bring them down to this button here. This is for create new composition from footage. Another way to do that, if you like, is to right click and you have here new composition from selection. Your selection is only this video. So you can click new composition from selection. And here you are. Very nice. Let's notice what happened. In the project panel, you have aerial view city composition. This is a comp. Notice the icon that has been created and it's open in the timeline. The video is placed there as a layer. That's a video layer. And it has opened in the composition viewer where you can see or preview your video just like this. I can press space bar and we preview the video. More importantly, the dimensions have been picked from the video. Okay, you notice 1280 by 720 for the comp and for the area view city is also 1280 by 720. For the comp, you have 30 frames per second exactly like the video itself. Of course, you have the sound over here and you have the sound checked. You can put it on and off if you like to. So now we have taken one video and created a new composition. We can start, for example, adding some text. Here we say city view. 
That's pretty cool. Don't worry about it. I will show you how to create text in very fashionable ways. Now I have the video and the text in my composition. I'm starting to composite. I showed you the best practice to import footage into After Effects and to create a composition from a single footage. Thank you very much for listening. I'll see you in the next lecture.